Apeville! What's going on all you apesters out in Apeville? I am, of course, the apester himself. And today we're going to be doing Sunshine Autos. Uh, probably all three lists. I'm going to see if I have time to do that. But uh, we're going to get started right away. We have a lot to do today. But before we do that, do you enjoy this video? Uh, leave a like down below, of course. And uh, leave a comment what you thought of the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh... Share the share the YouTube channel and share the video as well with your friends. Don't forget to tell them uh, I have a YouTube channel. Obviously, I do. Uh, and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss out on a single video. And before I uh, purchase this business, uh, I do have the one of the cars on the first list, which is the Idaho. I just found it on the street on the way over here. So I said, you know what? I'm going to get a head start. I got the first vehicle right here. Um, you can find them literally, usually in Little Havana. It is called the Idaho. Can be seen in traffic in Little Havana and Viceport. And we got a couple other cars to get for this list. But first, let's go ahead and purchase the Sunshine Autos. It is $50,000. As much as I don't want to do this, I have no choice. Um, I'm going Smith. to do it. And you must Even though it kind of has nothing to do with the 100% like completion. Well, it does actually, but well, it doesn't have anything to do with like the main story. Deal. But this we'll do it anyway. After I turn pro. But now, it's time for me to move on. You're leaving town. Not in too much of a hurry, I hope. No, I'm just coming out of retirement and preparing for my future comeback. The business wasn't too strong, and my staff took it upon themselves to get a bit more creative with the generational wealth. <laughs> Obviously, I could wind down the business before handing it over. By the way, if I am I looking for a specific vehicle and to. on the way over to grab it, I see another vehicle on this list, oh, I will take advantage and I will grab it. Whether it be this in the street or maybe I drive by the location yeah, where it, it spawns. So I take it we have um, just to figure I'd let you guys know, just let you guys in on that, um, that I'm going to be doing that. So let's say there's a spawn location for a vehicle and I'm driving over to it and I find another vehicle that's actually on the list, I'm going to grab it. I might as well do it. And here we go. We just purchased it for a hundred, uh, five hundred or fifty thousand dollars, and we already have our first vehicle. We already have a head start on this one, uh, and also the races as well. We get to do races, which that technically counts kind of as a side mission, which I don't really care about. Um, so there you go. So there is the list right there: the Land Stalker, the Esperanto, the Stallion, the Rancher, and the Blister Compact. So the first vehicle I'm going to go after is the Land Stalker. Usually they are found uh, throughout Vice City's traffic and is always found at the down, down, a downtown dirt track, which starts the trial by dirt side mission. So I am going to go over to the dirt track in downtown and I will go grab that vehicle. So I'll be right back once I grab it. By the way, one thing with the computer version of this game, you can literally, you see how like the cop car is coming toward me? You can just do this and it respawns cars and you just keep doing it until you find the car that you need. Uh, or you can look away, but the fastest way to do it, you see how that car's coming toward me right there? Just go like this, and boom, it respawns another vehicle. Figured I'll let you know, uh, let you in on that, and I think this is one of the cars, actually. Hang on a minute. It's not the Landstalker? Okay, it is one of the cars. So, it's not the Landstalker, but it is the Rancher. The Rancher is usually found in Viceport or downtown, and, okay, so it can it be occasionally found downtown Prawn Island and vice port so this is not the car like i said again one of those things where you know if i encounter it on the way over to a vehicle and i'm just gonna grab it anyway so here we go the rancher it is on the list but it was not the car i was going after originally so the car i'm going after after originally obviously is the land stalker so let's go ahead uh once again and we're gonna go in and go grab that land stalker oh by the way it is very recommended that you save a couple of these cars in the garage that's down there. This one definitely, I know for a fact, is on the list of cars. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm actually, I think this is one of them too. I'm not sure. Let me go ahead and check. But, um, what kind of car is it? Uh, the Hermes? Yes, that's in the list too. So I'm pro oh, wait, no. Or is it the, uh, the Cuban Hermes? I'm 100% sure. But, uh, if you see a car that you know is on a list or something, maybe on, like, on a future list, save it in these garages. It'll save you so much time. So, in this case, this car, for example, is on one of the lists. I know that for a fact. I, I remember. I think it's on the second list. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of that and grab it. As well as this one, I 
think is on one of the lists. I could be wrong, but I'm going to take it anyway, just in case. I know the Cuban one is on there for a fact. I know 100% the Cuban Hermes is indeed on one of the lists. So, again, uh, once again, I am going after the Landstalker, but I figured uh, I would let you guys know that that's something you guys should definitely consider. Uh, if you want, look up all the lists on Google or something, and then if you see that car on the street from a different list, then go ahead and save it in those garages down there. It'll save you so much time. So I figured I'll let you guys in on that as well. So, and I think this one is one of them as well. Uh, so I think just in case I might save this one. No, I think the regular Sentinel is one of them. Uh, you know what? Screw it. We're just gonna go off on a whirl here and say it's not. So, you know what? Yeah, screw it. We're, we're just going to go off on a whirl. And I don't know if that's... Is that the rancher? No. That, oh, that is the rancher. Yeah, that's the rancher. It's not the... Uh, it's not the Landstalker, though. I need the Landstalker. So... Or any other cars that I see on this list. So, let's continue on. Oh, wait a minute. I just saw another car. See, this is what I'm saying. I just saw another car that's on this list. It is the Esperanto. It is located in Little Havana or Little Haiti. And, um, I'm gonna read the description here. Uh, found in the main- Oh, found in the mainland's poor districts, such as Little Havana and Little Haiti. So, obviously, that's where it said in the description there. And I think the Saber is another vehicle, too, that we have to- And that other car that was back there. See what I'm saying? Like, there's a bunch of cars that we can save. Like, this Sentinel right here, uh, we can probably put it in there, but- I'm already finding a bunch of cars that are for future lists, so this is- this actually- I might actually finish this a lot quicker than I thought. But, uh, regardless, we found one of the cars we needed on this first list. Let's drop it off, and let's see what we've got next. The Esperanto is done. All we need is the Stallion, the Blista Compact, and the Landstalker. Once again, I am going after the Landstalker. Uh, unless I find another vehicle from another list that I need, uh, I will take advantage of it. This one is definitely on one of the lists, so I am definitely taking this one. Um, so let me go ahead and park this in the garage as well. Okay, I do know this one's on the list as well. I'm grabbing it as well, the Infernus. I think it's on the third list, uh, along with that Corvette as well. Um, but man, I am on a roll today with these cars. I'm finding everything, like, out the wazoo. So, there we go. We'll park it right next to this one, uh, I guess. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be on future lists, so that's why I'm only saying to save it now. So that way it saves you a lot of time. And I know for a fact the limo is in on the list too, and there's only two locations for that. That's if you do the, I think it's the Love Fist missions. And then the other one is always 100% located uh, at your mansion. And this is definitely another vehicle that's on the list. I remember that. It is the Comet. We're going to go ahead and put this one away as well. Um, I know it seems kind of crazy that I'm saving all these cars. But um, it, trust me, it'll, it'll save you a lot of time in the long run. Because you can easily, when you go to the next list, you can literally just go in those garages and grab whatever it is that's on the list. Uh, for me, luckily, I know what cars I need, what cars I don't. Uh, this is the Rancher. I don't need the Rancher. And I remember the, the times where I used to grab a car that looks similar to the car I need and then hoping that it would spawn in, and it's kind of funny, so. Um, but yeah, this ought to be a lot of fun. I'm collecting a lot more vehicles than I thought, though. Um, this one is on the list as well, actually. I'm gonna put this one in there. And, oh my god, we are on a roll today. Look at this. We're grabbing cars for lists that we haven't even gotten to yet. So, and I'm still, I still have yet to go after that damn Landstalker. Oh my god, like, I, I'm still waiting to go after the Landstalker. And guys, uh, mind you, remember, you can only store in so many of these cars in each garage. So, for the love of god, do not overstock it, because they do tend to disappear over time. Oh, wait, I forgot. There's a Sentinel in here, too, actually. There's a Sentinel in here almost 100% of the time. So, um... Yeah, uh, you may want to grab it from there instead of going in the street. So, if you find a Sentinel in the street, uh, don't bother. There's one in there. But, uh, anyway, off to go grab the Landstalker, finally. I'm gonna go grab the Land- Oh, wait, this one's on the list, too. 
I think I think this one's on the list. This yeah, it is. I, I I know it is. Oh wait, I just found the rancher, guys. I just found the rancher. I just found the rancher. Run, grab it. It's gonna save me some time of driving. No, he freaking went away. Okay. Uh, okay. Is that a rancher? 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 No, not the rancher. The land stalker. I keep calling it a rancher. Jesus, it's it's a land stalker. What's this one? What's this one? Is this one I need too? I think I think I need this one too. Hang on. Uh, the Virgo. Yes, I need the Virgo. I know for a fact I need the Virgo. I know I need it for another another list as well, so I'm gonna go ahead and save the, this car in there as well. Um, and looks like I can only put in like one more vehicle in these garages, and then I'm pretty much booked on that. Um, the Virgo is not on this list yet. I know the Stinger is on this list, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the Stinger in there. That'll be the last vehicle that I collect, and the rest of them are 100% sure I'm gonna have to go and grab myself. Um, without putting it in the garage. I know I need a lot more than this, but that's okay. Two, four, six, eight cars already stored in. Pre-stored in, I should say. Ready to go. So, uh, once again, I promise you this time, we are gonna go and find the Lance Stalker and or any other vehicles that I need on this list. Alright, I found the Rancher. Here we go, I've got it. Not the Rancher, the Lance Stalker. Jesus, I keep calling it the damn Rancher. So, I found it on the street over here. Um, like I said, if you don't know where to grab one, uh, there should be a dirt track up here somewhere. Uh, I think, I'm, I'm thinking for a second where it could be. I think it's around here somewhere. It's like up here somewhere. You're going to find like a dirt track and you're going to find, um, the, it's like the, where the dirt bike is. I think, it, I'm pretty sure it's up here. It's where you're going to find, like, a dirt bike there. I'm pretty sure that's where it's talking about. So, we're going to go ahead and drop off this Land Stalker. Uh, and then we got a couple more cars to go on this list. And we'll almost be done with this list already. And we dropped it off like a pro. Now, we need two more for this list. It is the Stallion and the Blista Compact. The Stallion basically kind of looks like a... Uh, I don't know how to describe the look of it. I know what it looks like. Uh, and then the Blista Compact looks like a, a, a Honda CRX. Uh, if you don't know what, what that car is, just look it up. Uh, it's a really nice car, actually. I'd probably own one in real life if I had to, but... I know exactly what the other cars look like, uh, but I do want to get a location on these. Looks like the Blista is in Little Haiti or Little Havana, so we're not that far off from there. And then the Stallion is in Little Havana or Downtown, so we are relatively in the area where we would find these two vehicles... Um, so let me go ahead and find them, and I'll be right back with you once I find them. Okay, we found the Blista Compact, and that was literally like five seconds after the last little clip I recorded. But here it is. This is the Blista Compact, the Honda CRX looking car. And we're going to go ahead and drop this one off at the Sunshine Autos. And now we have one more to go on this first list, and that is the Stallion. Which is a car that sort of look. It's kind of a muscle car. So we're going to go have go ahead and find that. It is located in Little Havana or downtown. So I'm going to go over to the downtown Little Havana area. And see if I can find a stallion. Shouldn't take me that long to find one. I have found the stallion. It's right here. I'm just driving around just randomly. And I found one right here. There it is. This is what it looks like. Uh, if you don't know what, how do I know these cars? I mean, I know, I know them by heart, for the most part, but, um, I, I actually have a picture, uh, beside me on my phone here, of all the cars that are on the lists, but I know what the cars look like anyway, look, just by the names, uh, I know that's kind of nerdy, because, you know, because I, I'm that much of a GTA fanatic that I know what the cars look like, so it's kind of crazy. So we are now going to deliver the last vehicle on the first list, and then we are going to move on to the second list. And just like that, well, the first list is done, and now we have, I believe it's two more lists to go. Uh, we get a new vehicle as well. This is a very, very unique vehicle in the game. It is pretty much the only... Oh, we already completed the asset. That was very quick. But, but, we are not done yet. The more, uh, the more of the lists that we do, which there's three in total, the more money you're going to make over time. So now we need the Sabre, the Virgo, the Sentinel, the Stretch, the Washington, and the Admiral. And you may already know that I have a couple of them already. So the Virgo, I'm almost positive I have that one. Let's see if I can find the Virgo in one of these garages. I know the Washington, we need that. 
So we can grab the Washington real quick. We can just plop it right in the garage. And it looks like uh, my cousin's online. That's nice. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that on the screen. But uh, there we go. The Washington is delivered. Now we need... This is... That's the Hermes. I don't think we need the Hermes yet, do we? No, we do not. Okay. So we need the Admiral, the Stretch. Uh, these are for another list. Uh, that's for another list. And I think... I think I need... Nope, that's not what I need. I need the Virgo. The Virgo. Thank you very much. I need the Virgo. Um, one of the cars I'm definitely going to 100% have to go drive to go grab it because um, it's the, the stretch, which is the limousine. So there you go. Already two cars down and under. So the Sentinel, I found a bunch of them around here. And the Admiral, they're both relatively similar looking cars. But the Sentinel is actually in here. You can literally just grab it from here. Um, and turn off the radio while you're at it. Because obviously we don't want to get it copyrighted, right? So, we're going to go ahead and break the window. Because uh, it's required by the game to break the window for some reason. And we drive the Sentinel in here. And there we go. Already a third vehicle out of the six in the list. And now we have one, two, three more to go, which is the Sabre, the Stretch, and the Admiral. So let me see if I can go ahead and find those. And just to let you guys know, uh, a nice little thing that you can do is to do this. And the cars will respawn. You can see, oh, apart from this car, you can see if you do this, the cars will constantly respawn. And you just keep doing that until you find the car that you need. Or you can turn around like this. Maybe you can see this car, for example. Uh, let's say, let's say this is not the car you're looking for. You can just turn around. See, you see, watch, hang on. Let's see that car coming toward me. I can easily just do this. And it'll respawn another one. You can just keep doing that until you find the car that you need. So, like I said, that is a very useful feature. But anyway, uh, I am continuing on to find the vehicles. Okay, I know for a fact we need the Infernus. And instead of driving all the way to the mansion to grab it, I'm gonna grab this one. However, I don't know if I already put it in a garage already, so I'm just going to drive over and I'm going to find out whether or not I put it in a garage. Because I have so many freaking cars already put away for the next list that I don't even remember like, what I have anymore. So, um, let's see what I've got here. Oh, I do have an Infernus already. That's alright, I'll just use that one to go to the mansion. Um, but those, I don't need it on this list. I don't think I do, at least. No, Saber, Stretch, and the Admiral. Alright, so the Admiral is actually the car that you used it when you first started off the game. With that same car that you're, you're with, uh, Ken Rosenberg in. Uh, the Saber is basically, uh, another muscle car. And then the Stretch, like I said, is the limo. So I'm gonna go ahead and venture on over to Starfish Island, over to my mansion, and grab the limousine. And hopefully on the way over, I will find more cars that belong on the list. Actually, wait a minute. Hang on a second. I th if I'm not mistaken, I think that car is is uh, is part of the list. I don't know. It, it drove by, but it, it must have despawned. I think it despawned. Hang on. Let me see if I can spawn it back. Uh, it's it's that dune buggy car. It's the 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 the, the dune buggy. It's the dune buggy. I gotta see if I can find it again. Uh, maybe if I... It's alright. If I find it again, um, then I'll probably put it in the garage. But if anything, if you can't find it, it's actually at the beach somewhere. But you, you'll find it eventually. I have came over to the mansion. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I came to grab the limo, but instead I have the sentinel. Okay, you know what? Or the admiral, I'm sorry. So you know what? I, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's acceptable. I'll take it. I'm gonna have to come back again to get the limo. But that's okay. I'll, I'll take I'll take the Sentinel right now because this car is a little tricky to find. Just a little. It is it is kind of a little tricky to find. But you, if you are looking for it, uh, it says here that it can be found in the westernmost house in Starfish Island, uh, which I have no clue where the hell that even is. But uh, I'm sure you guys know where it is. Um, yeah, pretty sure you guys know where it is. All right. The Admiral's been delivered. Now there's two more cars to go. It's the Sabre and the Stretch. Obviously, the Stretch is located in a Versetti Estate. The Sabre can be found at the North Point Mall, which is very far away. I'm going to have to go all the way up there to go grab it. Hopefully, on my way, I'll find it. Who knows? Uh, who knows? 
But I know all the cars on the next list, I pretty much have, like, a really good majority of it. But I need to find out exactly how many lists there. I'm pretty sure there's three. I'm pretty sure there's three. Um, hang on one second. I, I gotta figure this one out. I wanna see how many there is. Four. There's four lists. I'm sorry. There's four lists of, um... Of, of cars they have to go grab so obviously this is the second out of the fourth uh my phone just went off i'm sorry uh sentinel already grabbed it. okay so this all i need left is the saber and the stretch so those two cars are not around here so i'm gonna go ahead and take uh my freaking maserati over here whatever whatever you want to call this bad boy and i'm gonna go on on over and grab either or of those cars so i'll be right back Okay, in my travels over to the North Point Mall, I found the Saber. So I'm going to go ahead and deliver the Saber to the imports uh, garage. There it is. This is the Saber. This is what it looks like. There's also a turbo version of this Saber, which is much harder to find on the streets. I don't know if it does spawn on the streets, to be honest with you. But the regular Saber does. I know that for a fact. So we're just going to go ahead and drive this Saber on over real quick. And then we'll go grab the uh, Stretch. Actually, wait a minute. I was on. I, did I just say I was on my way over to grab the saber, and I found a saber in the street? Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know. What did I say? Actually, I don't know what car I was looking for. I don't know. I have so many cars in my head right now. It's ridiculous. Um, but regardless, we're already here, so I'm gonna go ahead and deliver this vehicle uh, real quick. And there you go. The saber is all set. And now there is one more vehicle left on this list, and that is the stretch. That is over, of course, by um, the mansion, uh, Tommy Versetti's mansion. So we're going to go ahead and drive on over to Tommy Versetti's mansion so we can go ahead and grab the stretch and we can finish the second list. Here it is. It's over by the mansion, like I said. This is the limousine and it's over by Versetti's mansion, Tommy Versetti's mansion or Diaz's mansion, where, depending on how far you are in the game. And we're going to go ahead and drive this very slow-ass car over to Sunshine Autos, and that should complete list number two. All right, we finally made it back with the limo. Very slow vehicle, but that's all right. There we go. We made it back. The second list is complete. And now we need... Uh, okay, so now we need... A, oh, there's a, a Sabre Turbo. That's the one I was talking about. See what I'm saying? Uh, and not only, not only that, you should be generating more money, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, see, 4000 Okay, so now we need the Cheetah and Furnished Banshee... Phoenix, Comet, and Stinger, and I have a lot of these, so, um, I know I have a good majority of these, I can tell you for a fact, so here's the Infernus, I need this, I definitely need this one, so that's number one, boom, look at that, now if you are having trouble finding this, there is one at the Versetti Mansion, so there you go, the Infernus is completed, now we can go over to that same garage that I grabbed it from, and grab the Corvette, aka the phoenix see how quickly this is going now this is why you put it in the garage over here and you have it pre-done already and this was that list where i knew for a fact it was really gonna get done but there you go uh now there's a couple left the comet and the stinger i know for a fact i have those two in here uh there it is the comet is right here let's go ahead and drop it off inside that garage um, don't know why it doesn't just let me, it doesn't just go through, even though I have it inside of our garage anyway, but I guess it has to specifically go in that garage. But there you go, the Comet is done, and now I have this vehicle as well, which I need. I forget that, I forgot the name of it exactly. Uh, the Banshee, there it is, the Banshee. I actually thought I was gonna have a hard time finding it, but, um, there you go. The Banshee is done. And now we need two more cars. It is the Cheetah and the Stinger, which I'm pretty sure I have those cars. Uh, I know I have the Stinger. I know for a fact I have the Stinger. I don't know if I have the Cheetah. I might have it in here. No, I don't. I only have the Stinger. But the Cheetah is easy to find. Uh, you find it in the street or there is uh, a place that I know in Starfish Island where you can find one. So I will probably drive on over to it. Uh, or you could spawn it in the street. I did see it in the street um, a couple times over here down the street. So you could do the little trick where you just look down and look up and just keep doing this until the vehicle that you need spawns in. 
Uh, or you can go over to the location that I'm about to go over to, unless I find it in the street, which is that place in Starfish Island. So I'm going to go ahead and drive over real quick to show you where you can get it from. All right, so you come into Starfish Island from the downtown area, and basically the mansion's over here, right? It's on the right. You're driving this way, the mansion's on the right. You want to make a left on this road right here, and then you come in here, and you will see a car right here. This is the Cheetah, and you can also find it in the street as well. I mean, I'm sure you can find it somewhere in the street, I'm sure. There's also the location over by Colonel's Yacht. Um, I if I'm not mistaken, yeah, there's one over there as well. So if you want to grab that one, but the closest one for me, I think, to find was this one. Unless you find one on the street, go ahead and take it. Take advantage of it. I did see a couple of them, but I didn't get the chance to grab it. So let's go ahead and drive this back on over to Sunshine Autos. And there you go. We finally completed the last, or the, the, the third list. And now there are a couple more, or this is the last list. A couple more cars we got to get, and then that'll be that. So we need the the Voodoo, the Cure, uh, Cuban Hermes, which I know where that is. The Voodoo is basically that low rider, which I know where that is too. The Caddy is basically the uh, the golf cart. The Baggage is going to be at the airport. There's no other place to get it, unfortunately. The Mr. Whoopie, I'm sure everybody knows the Mr. Whoopie van. It's the ice cream truck. And the Pizza Boy, which is the pizza uh, delivery scooter, which we're going to have to bring. So I know where the locations are for every single one of these. The only ones that spawn on the street are the Voodoo and the Cuban Hermes. The other ones, there are specific locations to grab them. So let me go ahead and grab the first one in the list. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it in order exactly, but um, we'll just grab it as we, as we go. So we start off with the Cuban Hermes, which is this one. It is the Hermes that uh, has the flames on it. And I knew we needed a Hermes. I thought it was just a regular one, though. But I knew for a fact we needed this one. I just didn't know if we needed a regular one as well. I wasn't too sure on that one. But we have it right here. We're going to go ahead and deliver it over to Sunshine Autos. All right, so the Cuban Hermes has been delivered. And the only car that I seem to have gotten wrong was the regular Hermes. Because all the other cars I ended up using. Yeah, so all the other cars I ended up using. So let me get that ugly ass regular Hermes out of here. And you can actually use this as regular garage space if you wanted to. If you want to put like your cars in here or something to store in there, it will not go anywhere. If you save the game, um, even if you don't save the game, I'm pretty, well actually if you do don't save the game, it won't save it in there obviously so um yeah you can actually use that as a regular garage too if you want to it can only fit up to two vehicles unless you want to do that damn glitch where you put a car in front of the the door or you you open the door and then you quickly get in the car and drive in like i used to do it when i was a kid um or you can just go up to the door and push it in there whatever you want to do but um anyway we're gonna go ahead seeing as we're over here already we're gonna grab the baggage So the baggage is going to be here at the airport. Uh, you can find one probably parked or driving around uh, if you're lucky. But this is the baggage right here. You come into the airport and you'll you'll find them 100% of the time. I mean, you'll find them. I know that for a fact you will. But this is it right here. The baggage handler. Uh, this is one of the vehicles we need for the import or for the Sunshine Autos, whatever you want to call it. So let's drive this slow ass thing on over. And you may notice, by the way, there's a theme to all these lists. So, like, this one is, like, unique vehicles. The last one was, like, supercars. The one before that, I think, was, like, off-road cars or, or, or something. I don't know. But you guys get the idea with the list. Or maybe the two, the first two lists were regular lists. And then the, uh, the, the thir second to last one was supercars. And then this one is, like, unique vehicles. Uh, I don't, I, I don't know, I figured you may have noticed that, but we got this done a lot quicker than I thought I was gonna get it done, honestly. And there you go, the baggage has been delivered, and we're gonna go after, I think we're gonna have to go after either the Voodoo or the Mr. Whoopi next. Okay. So, let me go ahead and get my hands on one of those cars. Alright, here we go, we, we are gonna grab Mr. Whoopi, we're already here, so what I want you to do is drive it off just like that. Drive it away as far as possible, and then get inside... Inside the Mr. Whoopi, and hopefully it doesn't start the mission. Uh, nope, no it doesn't. Oh wait, no it does. Yes, it does. Wait a minute, I just can't move because something's in my way. I don't know why, but... Uh, there we go, we're gonna drive Mr. Whoopi. No, I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna distribute things. 
No, just get out. You know what? Just do this. Just get out of the thing and then go back. There you go. Just do that. Problem solved. Now let's bring it to the Sunshine Autos. There we go. Three down and three more to go until this list is complete and the uh, Sunshine Autos is 100% complete. So all we have left is the Voodoo, the Caddy, and the Pizza Boy. So let me go ahead and get to work on that. So the Voodoo can only be located pretty much only in one place, which is around here. In like this area down here. Uh, in a little Haiti. So here's one already. But if you are looking for a spawn point... Uh, over by where, uh, Auntie Poulet's missions are, where Auntie Poulet lives, there is always one there 100% of the time. So you can go ahead and grab the voodoo from there, but we're gonna go ahead and drive this voodoo back to Sunshine Autos, and then I will get working on the next vehicle. Alright, I think the next vehicle I'm gonna get is probably the harder one to get. Well, that's not harder, it's just more farther to go to go grab it. Uh, is the caddy which is usually located obviously it's the golf cart so it's over by the golf course so i'm gonna take a long trip uh all the way down to the golf course and i'll be right back once i go grab the golf cart all right so we've made it to the golf course and sometimes you'll see them driving on the street if you're lucky but normally what i like to do is just go inside the golf course and grab it myself so obviously i don't want to go in without or you know without my weapons so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put this car over here like this and this is also where you can get the comet by the way if you're looking for the comet uh the comet whatever you want to call it right here so if you're looking for the comet it's located right here by the golf course so i'm gonna go inside the golf course real quick and grab me a caddy and uh it should be like i said it should be relatively easy to find usually they spawn like around here um, I think there's one located somewhere inside of a tree, if I'm not mistaken. But usually you can find one driving and you can probably just steal it. But there is one inside one of these bushes somewhere and it's hidden very well. So it might take me a minute to find it. Uh, this is taking a lot longer than I thought. I'm like looking around for a freaking golf cart. And you would think that at the golf course they would have one. And they do. There's one like somewhere inside of a bush. I'm just trying to remember where in the like where the bush is it's like very well hidden like very very well hidden. like you can't even it's like hard to see it like it's almost impossible to see it i'm trying to find what bush exactly that is unless i get lucky and see somebody driving one and just take it but honestly this this is taking a lot longer than i thought okay so looking at the list here uh hidden in a bush near the lighthouse so apparently there's a lighthouse up your ass. um in the yeah see this is what i'm saying it's in here somewhere so there's a lighthouse over here somewhere apparently and we gotta find it so let me see if i can find it real quick and just to reiterate by the way they uh, yeah like i said they do spawn on the street sometimes next to the golf court next to the golf course so don't be afraid to do that little that that little glitch like this to do that and hope for the best, I guess. Uh, you can do that if you want, but uh, I tried it a couple times and it didn't work. Um, you just got to get lucky. I guess I'm just going up to every single one of these bushes and clicking the F button, which is to enter the vehicle. So, I, I, I mean, I, gotta, I guess I got to find the lighthouse first. So I did a little bit of research and it says that there's a pathway heading towards the lighthouse. And there, there, one of the bushes over there by that path has the... And I'm trying to figure out what lighthouse are we talking about here. Like, what... Is it this one? I'm ass I mean, this bush looks very bushy. Um, it, could it be in here? I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm just clicking the button to get inside the vehicle because I might get lucky. But, uh, it says it's near a path. So, I'm gonna do a little bit more digging here. Guys, I'm an idiot. Oh my god, guys, I'm an idiot. It's not inside the golf course. It's not inside the golf course. I know exactly which- Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. There's only one lighthouse in the entire game. I know exactly where the caddy is. Okay, hang on a second. I'm gonna- I'm gonna go drive to it. Oh, by the way, that dune buggy that I was looking for, apparently you don't need it. I thought I actually needed it for one of the, one of the lists, which is, I think it's called the BF Injection. Um, yeah, I 
I guess you don't need it for the list. Good thing I didn't grab it, I guess, right? Good thing I didn't waste my time, but I could have sworn I needed one for the list. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure I am wrong, actually, because this is the last list out of the four, and I have yet to grab that damn dude buggy, so... Anyway, I'm driving over to the lighthouse. That is where the last caddy is located, and you would think that a golf cart would be in the golf course, but it's actually not. It's actually by the damn lighthouse. Okay, I did not expect that at all. There goes all my weapons down the freaking toilet. There is no way I am going to load the game because if I do, I'm going to lose all the progress that I just did. So I am absolutely not doing that. Um, yeah, now I'm just going to have to get all my weapons again. Oh, well. You know, I had such a strange feeling that I should have saved my game. I really did. I kind of thought about it. I was like, ooh, I really should have saved my game. Like, I really should save my game. For some odd reason, I really should save my game. But I didn't save my game, and now I lost all my weapons. I don't care. I can just get those back. I am not going to reload the game and restart all the way from the beginning. There's no way. I'm at the last list already. If I restart, then I'm going to have to do all the lists over again, and I do not feel like doing that at all. Too bad, so sad, and I'm pretty sure this is the... Yes, here it is. Finally, we found the freaking caddy. It was inside the damn bush. So you have the lighthouse right here, and it's inside this giant bush right over here. I'm sure you can pinpoint exactly where that is. So let's finally go ahead and drive this caddy on over to the Sunshine Autos, and then we can grab the last vehicle, which is much easier to grab. This thing is so slow, and I thought I was going to dread doing this challenge, doing this um, this business, but I actually kind of like it. I actually am enjoying this a lot more than I thought I was, finding these cars and bringing it to the import uh, dock, or whatever, well, not the dock, because that, that would be GTA San Andreas, actually, when we go to do their, that import-export thing. Um, but yeah, I am literally dreading this right now, dude, well... Well, actually, I thought I was dreading it. I thought I was going to dread it, but I actually do not. I'm actually enjoying this. I could probably go for another list right now, but nope. Not going to do it because I am very, very, like, long in this video right now. And I have a lot of editing to do when it comes to this video. I'm going to start editing today. Today is Tuesday, obviously. So, uh, and the video is going to be up by Wednesday. So, yeah, I do like that whole... Uh, deal with making the video the day prior and then editing it the next day and it's so much less work for me But yeah, so there you go. The caddy has been delivered now There's only one vehicle left. It is the pizza boy, which is a scooter You go over to the the pizza play any pizza place stacked pizza, whatever you want to call it and uh, That little scooter that's over there. So we're gonna go ahead and grab one You know, I could have sworn there was a pizza place in little Haiti, but I could be wrong I could have sworn there was one over in Little Haiti. I'm almost positive there's one in Little Haiti. But regardless, we're already over here by a pizza place. It doesn't matter which one you go to. Um, so I'm over here by this one. Down the street is the Love Fist um, building, whatever you want to call it. And here is the Pizza Boy. So what I do recommend you doing is kind of pushing it out of the way. But I kind of don't feel like pushing it out but i kind of already did the pizza boy mission anyway so you don't have to worry about it but if you did not do the pizza boy mission and you don't want to trigger the mission uh just just push the the scooter as far away as possible from the restaurant uh with another car or something and then get in it and it should cancel out the mission for you but if anything get on it and then just get off the scooter and it'll cancel the mission and then get back on the scooter so now we're going to go ahead and deliver this last vehicle, and then that'll be the end of the Sunshine Autos, and it'll also be the end of the video. Okay, here we go. We finally have the Pizza Boy here, and there you go. That completes all the lists. All the cars are here, and we finally got the last unlockable vehicle in the game, uh, which is a cool car. The only way to get it, quite frankly, is by a cheat code. There you go, $9,000 the Sunshine Autos will generate, and not only that, we have 100% completed Sunshine Autos. We have completed all four lists of Sunshine Autos. The only thing left to do in Sunshine Autos is the races, which, fun fact, this map right here is the beta version of GTA Vice City. Did you guys know that? 
But uh, anyway, that is actually going to end off this video here. Uh, I'm sorry if it ended up being a long video. Uh, it's a lot longer than I thought it was going to be, but... I really hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed making it. I am going to go ahead and focus on grabbing my weapon, getting my weapons back and my armor back. But that should be the easy part. Um, uh, if you enjoyed this video, do leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, obviously. Leave a comment of what you thought of the video. Uh, is there any other way I could have done it? Maybe. Maybe a faster way of doing it. Uh, I don't think there's a faster way of doing it than the way I just did it, to be quite honest with you. I thought I was going to dread this because I thought it was going to take so long, but I ended up finding half the cars on the street, and I did that whole thing where I looked down and look up, and I just kept doing that. Um, but anyway, uh, leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, obviously. Uh, leave a comment down below what you thought of the video. Um, share this video with your friends. Share my YouTube channel with your friends as well. I would really appreciate that. And turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss out on a single video. And something I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video is my Facebook page. I seem to just forget this all the time. Uh, that is where I uh, upload latest YouTube videos as well as podcast episodes. Uh, wait, oh my god, I keep saying it. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get out of the habit of not saying it. I do apologize. It's where I upload latest content. My Facebook page is where I upload latest content, guys. Latest content. Not not just the podcast that I'm taking a break from. It is latest content. Anyway, that is going to put a wrap to this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And guys, I have one more thing to say. The apester has left the building.